Okay, I wanted to do a brief video uh, showing you how to make uh, a new charger setup that I've been using. Um, I've currently been using a Nexus 5. Um, like the phone, a uh, nice phone. We'll never use anything other than Nexus so long as it's around, so I don't get all the garbage from the other companies. But uh, the case that I'm using on this particular one is a Spigen Slim Armor. Basically, any case that has the soft rubber underneath with a hard plastic shell over top of it that just kind of clamps on the back. Uh, it's a nice, tight, thin fit. Basically, it's not so much there for protection, but to give it a nice, solid feel and a slick back so it'll slip in and out of a pocket easily. Uh, essentially, this is, the, this is the case for my new uh, Nexus 6. You can see here I just cut the rubber out, or the rubber in the, on the inside. To do that, I have a, a template that I use for all my phones and chargers, so I know exactly where to cut the holes. Uh, kind of demolished a couple of the holes with the Dremel there, but uh, got them in the right spot. A little dab of super glue, keep them in place. You don't really need to even glue them. Um, they, they'll hold just fine when you snap the case on but it does help taking it in and, or putting it in taking it out constantly doing anything like that just make sure your polarities so that they're all facing the proper way but yeah i, I love the wireless chi standard it, it's not the quickest charging device but you know who needs a long a big battery when everywhere you go you can plop it down and start charging it you know, it's, I love that concept. However, one of the problems I have is, you know, yeah, you have two two types. You have the little disc that just sits there, and I don't want my phone laying next to my bed just like that. I'd like to have it up. I use it as my alarm clock. So these ones, when you put it on, it's got a little bit of an angle, but if you're laying in bed, you know, that's not really going to cut it. Also, it can fall off, slip. Um, using my Nexus 6, when I try to put it on, it just slips right down. Doesn't even hold it on there. I mean, these things aren't, you know, the highest dollar thing. It's not exactly real grippy on there or anything like that. But the biggest issue I had with these setups was when I go in my car. I don't like using the USB cord. I'm not always going to plug it in when I'm in a hurry in the car. I'd just rather just set it somewhere and just have it charge. And if you want to get wireless charging, you're stuck with one of these cheap mid-1990s ratchet clanking you know, pieces of junk that doesn't even fit most modern size phones. Uh, it, it has trouble even fitting my Nexus 5, let alone my Nexus 6. Um, real pain in the backside. So, what I came up with was this. Real simple. All this is, is a $15, $20 wireless Qi standard puck. Uh, I took the rubber out. There's usually a rubber disc right here quarter inch drill went in using my template drilled them out inserted a quarter inch by 1 16th neodymium N52 N52 is the stronger neodymium magnets you can get and I got these on Amazon they were pretty cheap got like a box of 20 of them for I think less than 20 bucks. Um, got a XM satellite radio universal swivel. All it is is a little mount. It's got some nubs on it that I just knocked off with a Dremel sander. So it would be flat. Threw some 3M double sided adhesive in here. Stuck it to the back. Comes a so now, when I go out into my car, I can just stick it up. Now these, this one here, 
is with the N52 magnets. Uh, the one that I have in my car is not the N52 magnets. It's, I believe, N48, which is kind of the standard neodymium magnets. But driving along with this, it's very simple. Uh, it, I just stick it up there, it starts charging, as you can see. I've never had an issue with it. I've had it fall off one time, and that was driving on a seriously rutted road a lot faster than I should have been going. Uh, but that is the only time it's ever fallen off. And now the great thing with this design, because of the swivel, you can twist it to get it just perfectly flat. You can, now it's kind of hard for me to do this because I've got just one hand here, I'm holding the camera, but you can twist it and pop it. And because of that five magnet design, it's set to go off or to stick on in 90 degree angles. So when you twist the phone, it'll pop into vertical, if that's what you're using, or just pop it horizontal for landscape mode. Uh, comes in really handy with the navigation, things like that. But this is a very simple thing to do. Like I said this whole setup right here cost me probably a little over 20 bucks. You know, if you look at the right place on Amazon online. Um, but I would love to see a company make something like this as opposed to regurgitating the old stuff from 20 years ago. Uh, comes in really handy. Everyone in the family loves them. Um, simple to make. Very easy to use. I have one of these next to my bed on a safe. So I've got, I can just pop the phone right up to it. Keep one in each car. I'm going to be making another one here soon to replace this archaic piece of junk up here. Which, like I said, will no longer fit my phone. That's, uh... <laughs> Yeah, that's that's not gonna happen. But uh, and it the magnets don't like I said they do not interfere with the phones at all none of the sensors and it it doesn't do much for sticking to metal. I mean you can feel a slight pull, but it's not until you get them up to the other magnets. So this isn't gonna be sticking your car keys to your your phone in your pocket or collecting metal chunks or anything like that. Uh, it's very, you know, almost not noticeable, but uh, very simple to use. The one thing is to remember that using a case with an XM or with the uh, wireless Qi charger, the more distance, the more material you have between your phone and that coil pack in there, the slower it's going to charge. So you want to be careful with the big clunky cases you know you're not going to want to do this with an otter box that's extending it out you know quarter of an inch but uh works very well with this system been very happy with it and like i said i would love to see somebody making this i mean simple concept magnets and chargers so please somebody make it so i can stop making them <laughs>